Hi everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build an email list from scratch. So before we begin, I wanna talk about the tools that we're going to be using. So first of all, we're going to be building our email list using WordPress, but uh, the builder that we're going to be using is called Divi. The reason why I choose Divi is because it's easy to use and I also have a ton of free stuff that I give away with it to help you design your website. Secondly, we're going to be using a service called ConvertKit and again, it's full of features, very easy to use. So that's what we're gonna be using in today's video. I will leave all the links to that in the video description below. Now, before we begin, let me just show you quickly what we are going to be uh, designing. So this is going to be the email opt-in. So I've already pre-designed this for you. So you don't have to uh, start designing the whole thing yourself. It's a drag and drop and I'm giving it away for free. So the link to that is also in the video description below. Now, if you're brand new to web design and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites, I have a fantastic offer for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, which is in the video description below, I will give you access to my web design formula course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites using Divi. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, oh, I forgot one more thing. If you're brand new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification because I'm producing a lot of tutorials here and I'm sure they'll benefit you if you're into web design and marketing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do here is to go into our website and we're going to design the opt-in first and then we're going to go into the technicalities and how you need to put this all together. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I, I have my website here, it's running uh, WordPress and Divi. So let's go to an existing page. So we don't have to actually go to a page, a brand new page, although you can use this template with any page, but I'm gonna go to an existing page on my website. So I'm gonna come over here to all pages and I'm just gonna go with, let's say our about page. So I'm gonna click on edit with Divi. Now, once you download this template, which is free, by the way, you are going to get a file. And when you unzip the folder, you will get a file. And this is the file called email opt-in 001. So all you have to do is to drag it onto your page. Make sure you don't hit replace and then just click on import Divi Builder Layout. And then that's it. As simple as that, you're going to now have your opt-in added onto the page. So now if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see it's right there and you didn't have to do a lot of designing to it. So now that we have this opt-in, obviously your website is not gonna be about photography. You know, it could be a totally different niche altogether. So let me show you quickly how you can go in and customize this. So first of all, let's start by customizing this color right here. So if we go into our section settings, click on background, this is the color here. So if I click on that, I can change that color to let's say this really dark gray, if you want to do that. So that's all you have to do. If you wanna change the second color here, you can just click on this uh, tab and then change the second color. So I wanna change that first color. And then over here on the image, you wanna make sure that you add an image that uh, complements the message that you have on the opt-in. So over here, let's say this is about, maybe it's about uh, food, right? So we, let's choose an image that goes with that. So I'm just gonna add some vegetables here. Okay, so let's say that's our image. Save that. And also you notice that the image that we've added here is horizontal, so you may want to choose an image that is horizontal, not vertical. So let me go back in here and let's see. Okay, I think I'll go with this one here because this one here is horizontal and you can see that it looks much better. Right, so I'm gonna save that. Now over here when it comes to the message, again, you can change this message to whatever you want. So you can go in here and then free email list uh, building tips. So you can say tips on how to you, how to lose weight or tips on foods that will help you achieve whatever it is. And then over here, you can go ahead and also, you know, rewrite this into your own words and that should work okay. Now let's talk about this area here because this needs to be connected to your email autoresponder. And in our case here, I use ConvertKit. So this is gonna be the page you land uh, on uh, if you go with my link that's in the video description below. And you can start here at, I mean, for free. And if you 
if you uh, also send people over to or recommend people to use ConvertKit, you will also get um, more features activated here like reporting, visual automation funnels, and so on. But for the basic stuff we need, all you need to do is to sign up for the free account and you're good to go. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I'm going to sign in and uh, connect my form to, to my uh, email opt-in. So I'm gonna click on login and now I am in my email. So you can see here, I'm also building my own email list. It's currently at 3,395 and growing. And today I've uh, just got eight subscribers. So I'm pretty, I'm also doing what I'm actually uh, preaching about. All right, so to add our email form, what we need to do is to uh, create a brand new form. So to do that, I'm just gonna come over here and then I wanna click on landing pages and forms. So here is where we have our forms. So you can actually create your own form by clicking here on create new. And you can just say, this is a form. And this form, it doesn't matter how you put it, I mean, how you create this. So it can be sliding, sticky bar, whatever it is. But we, the most important thing is we need to connect it. So usually with this, I just go for the basic one here, the clear, click choose. And then you want to give this form a name. So over here, we can uh, name this if it's to do with, let's say, dieting. So this could be dieting freebie. Okay, so once you've done that, you don't need to go in and make further changes here. If you go to your settings here, there's also more things you can do, but I would leave this as it is because all this is going to be sorted out by our email opt-in. So even over here on the settings, I'll just leave this as it is. So once you've created your form, you want to hit on save. So now our form has been added. Next, over here now, if we go to our email opt-in settings, if you click on email account, you see here it's asking us to add our email account. So you need to connect this to your email autoresponder. And there's quite a few you can choose from here. As you can see, we have Active Campaign, Aweber, ConvertKit, Emma, you know, there's all these that you can use, right? So what you wanna do is to select the one that you're using, but in this example, we're using ConvertKit. And then over here on the list, you can see nothing is showing and that's because I haven't connected it. So this is now the stage where you click on add and then you want to add your API key. So your API key can be found by coming over here to, to your name or your account and then click on profile. If you come over here to your email, no account info, this is where you have your API key and secret. So your API key goes over here and then you also need to paste your secret. And then the account name, you can just give this the name of your website and you're good to go. So once you've done that and hit submit, so in this case, I'm not, I'm not adding my, my information there, but when you click down here now, this is where you're going to see the lists that are on your email list. So you should be able to see your form that we just created uh, with that we just created here on landing pages and forms. So so dieting freebie is where you're going to see that, and pretty much we are good to go. So once you've uh, added that information, there's a few things that you may also want to do here. So if you go to success action, you can actually display a message here which says success, but of course that's not good enough. You want to uh, add or redirect to a specific URL to download that freebie. So I am going to go into detail about the freebie in a moment and why you should do that. So here is where you want to add the redirection URL, which it can be from your website. And this is where you'd have the downloadable or whatever it is that you're giving away for free. So once you've done that, if you hit save, your email opt-in now is ready to go. So now I'm just gonna hit save one more time and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so let's scroll all the way down to the bottom here and we can see that this is our email opt-in. Okay, now let's talk about why and how to build your email list from scratch. So to build your email list from scratch, you need to give away a freebie or something free in exchange for an email. 
So there's various ways that you could do this. If you're if you have a blog and let's say you do baking, you can give away some recipes or you can give away a very short course. Or in my case, I give away my free web design course and I also give away these templates for free in exchange for an email. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because with social media, of course, you can have all your subscribers on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and so on. But things do happen in life where sometimes you can be unfortunate enough to be banned on these platforms. And if you get banned, that's the end of your business. There's no more communication with those people. And it's very hard to get your uh, channels back once that situation happens. But if you have an email list, it's very easy now for you to communicate with all your subscribers. Or even um, if it's not in the case of you getting banned from these social media platforms, but things happen, algorithm changes. So maybe right now it may be easy to grow your YouTube channel, but I can tell you one thing. I've been on YouTube now for many, many, many years. It used to be easy to rank videos. Now it's getting harder and harder. So if I'd build my email list back then when things were easy, my email list would be way, way, way bigger than, uh, way, way, way bigger than it is right now. So this is why it is great to build an email list. So the second reason is if you have a blog or you're an influencer or you create uh, any uh, videos or you're building your audience, it's always good to be in touch with your audience via email because this is where you can tell them about offers, you can tell them about your newly released videos. Like for example, this video that we're creating right now, I am going to email it out to my mailing list so that those subscribers can see my latest videos. So that communication channel is very, very important. And this is why you want to build a mailing list. And also the third one is if you're building your audience and you're building your mailing list and later on you decide to sell products or promote products through affiliates, it makes it much easier because everyone on your list at least knows who you are. They're familiar with you. So it makes that sale much, much easier as compared to someone who's starting totally from scratch where you don't know anyone and you're just trying to push your products out there. So this, this is why you need to build your mailing list. So don't forget, you need to give something away of value in exchange for the email. It could be PDFs or eBooks. It could be videos. It could be short trainings. It could be discounts, whatever it is. Building that email list is very, very important. Now, if you have any questions regarding this particular topic, Leave your questions in the video description below or in the video comments below, and I'll do my best to respond to that email or to that question. And also, uh, like I said, if you buy DV using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with DV. And by the way, they have a 20% discount right now, and uh, it's not gonna be out there forever. So if you take this advantage right now, you'll get your 20% discount. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.